After a long holiday weekend and bad weather plaguing the Sunshine State, the Sailor Nation is back and ready for week three of football. It isn't just the game of football the boys are expected to work hard at, but their futures as well. The coaches demand excellence, not just on the field, but in the classroom too. So make sure you're doing right in class, make sure you're doing right passing in the hallway, you're being respectful, being able to communicate with adults, if that means popping out an earphone, popping out an earphone, if you got your hoodie on or sunglasses on and you think someone's, you know, going into a class where a teacher may, may be a little particular about that, be on your P's and Q's. I learn your teachers like you do your opponents. Know what their ticks are, know what they're looking for. Play the game for 35 minutes. By the time you check in, take attendance, the bell rings, you got 35 minutes per class. On the line for the boys isn't just Friday night football, but also homework, studying, preparing for college, and a fast approaching end to the first quarter of the school year. With the school week behind them, the third game of the season comes into focus, and the sailors set out on the road again, this time further south to Lemon Bay High School, home of the Manta Rays. This game would prove to be a difficult one for the Sailors, not because this was the first game they saw a score on the board for the opponent, but because they played a difficult opponent themselves. This game opened much like the other two, with the Sailors dominating the field on the first drive. Number six, Brian Batty, runs for a first down, which is quickly followed by a pass to Travis Toby, who makes a run up the right side. Quarterback Vince Parisi hands off the ball once again to Batty, and he runs it in for a touchdown. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. It's about to get crazy. It's gonna be loud. This is our house. We do what we wanna. We'll blow the roof off. Everybody's coming. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. Keeping the Manta Rays from moving too far, the Sailors take over possession of the ball once again. With pressure in the pocket, Parisi scrambles and manages to toss the ball to Betty, who steamrolls up the right side for a second Sailor touchdown. Helping hold the Manta Rays in check, number one, Terrell Pack, and number 10, Jerome Perry, stuffs the run preventing any manta ray game. As the second quarter begins, the Sarasota defense steps up to the plate and the manta rays are tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yards. But quickly following that, Lemon Bay sets up for a three-point field goal, putting the first score for an opponent on the board this year. Putting the ball back in Sailor's hands, Parisi hands off to Batty, who drives through eight Lemon Bay players before being taken down on the 28-yard line. But stopping the forward march, the Sailors lose the ball in another fumble to the Manta Rays. It's about to get crazy. With the fumble still in their heads, Sarasota defense answers back with three straight sacks on Lemon Bay's quarterback to quickly get the ball back to the Sailors. Aiming to redeem themselves, the offense, led by quarterback Vince Parisi, hands the ball off to Bullock Betty, who barrels through the Lemon Bay defense for a 59-yard touchdown. Sarasota now leads Lemon Bay 20-3 as we head off into the half. As the sailors jogged off the field and back to the locker room, the mood was busy, to put it simply. Every group was meeting with their coaches, planning out their second half adjustments. 
But when head coach Hodge's voice rang throughout the locker room, silence followed. He told them to let the chaos simmer, that they needed to get back to their basics and play in their system. The Sailors needed this. They needed to feel the fire after the first two shutout games. Now, Hodge wanted them to respond. Coming back from the half, the Sailors commanded the field once again. This time, Parisi hits number 28, Travis Toby, wide open in the middle of the 25-yard line. Feeling the momentum, Parisi hands off to Petit, who runs into the red zone. On his next carry, he finishes the drive with a touchdown for the Sailors. Kicking the extra point, number 14, Blaze Freeman sends us to the fourth quarter with the Sailors 27, Manta Rays 3. But starting the fourth quarter, the Sailors would see the opposite of what they wanted. The first touchdown scored against them this season. But the Sailors were not done. After allowing the first touchdown of the year, Keandre Collins answers with an explosive 84-yard kick return touchdown, putting the Sailors up 34-9 after the successful extra point by Freeman. Trying to come back from the touchdown return, the Manta Rays begin to drive down the field, but were denied by the Sailors when number 24, Jamal Thompson, recovers a fumble. Fueling the fire, Bullet Petit shoots through the Manta Ray defense for a 49-yard touchdown. As Lemon Bay takes over ball possession, the quarterback launches a deep ball that is picked off by number 11, Dante Maggio. But the action in the fourth quarter is brought to a stop when Maggio doesn't get to his feet. Respect from both teams for the injured sailor can be felt as everyone on the field takes a knee until he is finally helped to the sideline. Picking back up the action, the Manta Rays made a play late in the fourth quarter, but were denied any forward movement by number 33, Daryl Crenshaw, who deflected the pass. Not long after, the Sailors had the ball again, and after three plays, Parisi hands the ball off to number nine, Dominic Bennett, who runs for a 64-yard touchdown. And with another extra point from Blaze Freeman, the Sailors close out the game with a score of 48 to nine. The Sailors shook hands with the Manta Rays and met their coaches in the center of the field. Once again, it wasn't with celebration for the win that the boys took a knee around Hodge. In the books, it was a win, but for the Sailors, it wasn't enough. They wanted it cleaner. This week, the Sarasota Sailors make their return to Cleveland Stadium at Erig Field. For the first time since 2016, the Sailors are coming home 3-0, and this game will start the uphill climb for the season. The Sailors are up for the challenge and need their fans in the home field stands. Spend your Friday the 13th cheering on the Sailors. Each victory puts you closer to Sarasota High history.